is neuroplasticity exactly? So imagine for a moment that our brain is this sort of malleable pile of sand and on top of it we drop a handful of marbles. Now we can think of these marbles as our thoughts, feelings, sensations, or patterns of reaction. And as these marbles make their way down this sand pile, they leave grooves in the sand. Now imagine that we take another handful of marbles and we drop those. Those marbles will probably have a tendency to find their way to those pre-dug grooves because it's just easier for them to go down those pathways. And once these pathways are formed, the more thoughts, feelings, sensations occur, the more tendency they might have to go down that same route, unless we interrupt and find a way to intercept those marbles. And that is what we're doing when we practice brain retraining. We can also do certain things to prime our brains, elevating our mood and emotions, releasing so-called dose chemicals. And by doing these things, these new thoughts or sensations or stimuli, they can go down a clean path and form a new path of your own choosing.